Wszystko zaczęło się od króla Jagiełły. Mała Łodzia stała się miastem, które w XIX wieku rozwijało się najszybciej na świecie. W ciągu zaledwie 60 lat od powstania pierwszej manufaktury powstaje przemysłowa, wielonarodowościowa metropolia. Jednak wiatry historii nie zawsze jej sprzyjały. To, co zniszczył los, odbudowują łodzianie. Nasza Łódź. Miasto wielkich szans. Od 600 lat w sercu Polski i Europy. Jesteśmy Polakami. Jesteśmy niezwykłym społeczeństwem. Zawsze w obliczu wielkiego wyzwania potrafimy się mobilizować. Potrafimy stawić czoła wielkim wyzwaniom. Bo nie potrafimy stać obojętnie. Bo obchodzi nas bezpieczeństwo i przyszłość naszych dzieci. Bo wierzymy, że nadzieja zwycięża apatię, lęk i strach. Bo mimo wszelkich przeciwności nigdy się nie poddajemy. Potrafimy ciężko pracować, wspierać się i działać razem. Bo zależy nam na naszej ojczyźnie, naszym osiedlu, naszej ulicy. Bo chcemy naszych niezbywalnych praw i wolności. Bo nie oddamy naszych marzeń. Nadchodzi punkt zwrotny. Spiritus Movens of this event, Błażej Lenkowski. Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests of the Freedom Games, the uh, viewers who are sitting in front, their, uh, in front of the uh, computers and TVs this year, we are celebrating the decade, it's the 10th edition of the Games and the watchword is very current, it's full, it's filled with hope, the turning point. It has a lot of dimensions. How to interpret it professionally? Which spheres of life require the turning point? We will hear about this uh, during the three days. There will be many speakers talking about these topics, uh, so I'm not going to describe it in a comprehensive way. Before my speech, I was thinking for a long time whether there is a factor that is more important than other, one factor that can help us to make sure that during this autumn, in the longer time perspective, the turning point of our activities, plans and hopes will be possible. To us, that is a certain formation of intellectuals, ideologies, people who address the freedom values, who want to be, to have personal and economic freedom. Uh, we are attached to democracy and the rule of law. We, of course, uh, we, as far as ideologies are concerned, they are different for all of us, but we can follow the same route when it comes to the most important matters. And it's good that we are not the same because uh, this, uh, this kind of uh, cohesion is in the North Korea and uh, we can actually discuss things, which is a great uh, value. 
maybe it will be obvious, but to me, what is of fundamental importance, uh, uh, it's also the problem of the democratic uh, aspects uh, we have been witnessing for the past eight years. So it's the skill of uh, building teams and uh, having long-term cooperation, the leadership that can join people, unite people, people can support uh, one another, loyalty, not a blind uh, loyalty because it's pathological, but the loyalty uh, where we share values, ethics, we know that we are united by more things and uh, uh, different personal uh, dislikes uh, are irrelevant because we have one goal and this goal is of fundamental importance to the future of Poland. We need to understand that we have the right to make mistakes. We are in the learning process, but we also are able uh, to, to, to learn on the mistakes and uh, we are not focused on our ego and uh, such cooperating teams uh, never give up they are more efficient they have this team spirit and they never give up so we need to learn how to be the team the Wuch team because Wuch is very good at this my daughter and I when we are playing together uh, we are the the A team which supports uh, each other so if we want to have the turning point point this fall uh, uh, which we can have we need to become such A team we need to be determined in our actions but it must be teamwork is this uh, naive? It's necessary. I do hope that all of you, all of us, people who are here, who are in front of their computers, I hope that you are ready to become the A team, especially for the next 30 days and to address the topics which are of huge importance. When we are talking about important topics, I would like to invite uh, all of you tomorrow at uh, 20 past uh, 8 uh, when uh, we will uh, inaug inaugurate the campaign of our foundation. Now I would like to address the topic which is still uh, the topic we need to discuss uh, during the Freedom Games. Andrzej Poczobut, who is still doing the eight-year imprisonment uh, 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 who, 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 is, who is isolated for the past six months. This is the turning point that is required. So we need to remind to the rest of the world and we will do it from this stage for as long uh, as he becomes free. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just starting two and a half days of intellectual feast I hope that you will leave the event with inspiration, full of energy to act. The inspiration would not be possible without the work of my wonderful team, uh, our subcontractors. I would like to thank them all uh, for the huge effort, especially for the last couple of days. I'm very proud that I can work with you and thank you very much for this. This inspiration would not be possible without our partners. This year, it's over 100 organizations that uh, are working for the uh, Games Federation. I'm not going to list all of them. You will be able to meet the representatives of these organizations during these three days. Uh, I'm going to list these organizations and institutions uh, uh, with which we uh, cooperate most and we have many year cooperation. So strategic partners, thank you to the City of Łódź, Maja Hanna Zdanowska, Wood Center of Events. I would like to say thank you to the co-organizers of the forum, uh, which develop uh, two programmers, the European Liberal Forum and the European uh, Climate Foundation. I would like to thank our partners, Atlas Network, Noman Formation, uh, Formation uh, uh, IKEA, Orange uh, Rising Tide Foundation, Google, 
thank you to the partners of the Freedoms. I would like to say thank you to the supporting partners, Allegra, Amazon, Economic Freedom Foundation and Incredibles. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to wish you the inspiring free days and lots of positive energy after the Freedom Games. Thank you. As Błażej Lenkowski has said, the initiative of so many dimensions as the Freedom Games would not be possible without support, involvement, know-how, experience of all the partners. But since here in which we do appreciate relations, I would like to um, make sure that you can see the faces of our partners. So I've got a pleasure and honor to invite uh, the great supporter of championships, the mayor of the city of Łódź, Hanna Zdanowska. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Freedom Games is an, a unique occasion to talk about very important issues. Ten, over 10 years ago, when two young people approached me and they told me that they would like to have dialogue, conversation, they would like to to meet with people, to share thoughts. I said, yes, I said, it's a great platform to build even better, even more understanding and sometimes even more efficient Poland in action. At the time, I didn't expect that we would have the situation that nowadays we are talking about different issues. We are talking uh, whether we will be able to see Poland we do remember. So we are just approaching the key moment, the turning moment, the unique election which will be held on the 15th of October and which can restore our joy, smile and the option of having the true dialogue or maybe the result will uh, leave us uh, in forgetfulness, uh, they uh, the, actually the result can it can cause even more problems in the society and for always uh, the result will take us from the place we we are dedicated to that is the uh, European Union so that is why this moment is so important and so are the discussions that are going to be held because they will convince us uh, to the fact that on the 15th of October we will remember where our place is we need to go to vote so there are only 30 days left uh, until the 15th of October so we will need to convince encourage talk and Build, as Boisier has said, one community, fantastic A team that will restore smiles to our faces, that will restore tolerance and freedom of our choices and will restore beautiful fatherland. This is my wish I would like to share with you. So have a great Freedom Games. All the best to you. And I do ask you, remember the 15th of October, remember to meet in the same place, uh, meet at the uh, voting uh, polls. Thank you. Thank you very much for this speech and encourage another encouragement to go and vote on the 15th of October. Let's meet uh, at the ballot box. Now I would like to give the floor to uh, the representative of the uh, Open Society Foundation. and that democracy is at stake. And this pivot that we're all heading toward, it's not a single moment. It's going to have many very important moments. And what makes for a strong democracy is the strength of the ideas of the people who hold up that democracy. It's the strength of the actions of the people who hold up that democracy. And it leans on every single one of us 
Every single one of us matters in a democracy, and that's what's different than autocracy, where the individual and the desire and the passion and the happiness play little or no role. And so Open Society Foundations is very pleased to support this event because it's all of us engaging in dialogue that's going to change the world. It's the ideas and the strength that we give those ideas. It's the exchange. It's the acceptance of opinions that are different than our own. And it's grappling within, us, within a system that is imperfect. Our democracies are imperfect and they have to deliver better outcomes, but it's us grappling with improving society that is going to make the difference. So I look forward to discussing with you in the coming days, and thank you very much. Bardzo dziękujemy Open Society Foundation. Thank you very much, Open Society Foundation. And now I'd like to give the floor to Alva Finn, uh, Executive Director of the European Liberal Forum. attending my very first Freedom Games as the Executive Director of the European Liberal Forum. We are proud co-organizers with Boja and Olga from Liberté of this truly ambitious model of civic participation. As a liberal foundation, the European Liberal Forum spends a lot of our time thinking about how to make liberalism relevant again. The conclusions of our new European Liberalism project which focuses on modernizing liberalism, is that communication is key. Liberalism is losing support, not because liberalism fails or that liberal policies are no longer relevant. We fail because we fail to engage and communicate, um, and liberals are not owning their own discourse. Liberal approaches are being appropriated effectively by others, and liberals themselves are left thinking that we don't have original ideas to sell. In its, 20, in its 10th year, the Freedom Games' reputation as an innovative liberal hub, a, a place where ideas are grown, is beyond question. This year's turning point agenda in advance of the Polish elections and also the European elections next year is a well-placed reminder that we need a long-term strategy based on communicating and engaging with our electorate rather than lecturing them. That's what the Freedom Games is all about. The partners, think tanks and liberal organizations and the conversations we have here at the Freedom Games are absolutely crucial for reinventing liberalism for the modern age. The 12 rules that we've come up with from our new European liberalism project focus on defending liberal values that have helped the Western world prosper, like open societies, free trade, mutually beneficial globalization and community. But we're also focusing on coming up with common solutions to protecting the environment, to protecting our rural communities, making sure we have access to innovation and offering people a sustainable welfare state. So at ELF, we promote a hopeful future because we want to communicate the classic cornerstones of liberalism in a new way and invent positive liberal solutions to new problems that will make liberalism relevant all over again. It's very easy to focus on populism rather than to look inwards as liberals. I hope that the Freedom Game will serve not only as a meeting point, but encourage us to look in the mirror and help shape a powerful narrative for liberalism as we head into the turning point of the 2024 European elections. Thank you. Have a good Freedom Games. Thank you very much. Antoni Bielewicz, the director of the European Climate Foundation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We live, work, study in extremely interesting and difficult times. The times are shaped by many trends and phenomena. Some of them we already do understand. 
but the nature of some of them is still a mystery which has not been fully determined, described, and understood. It seems that in a dozen or so years, reading historic books will be really an interesting uh, task. One of the trends shaping our reality, including social, political, economical reality, are climate change. Is climate change in the area I work with the turning point? has a very clear and negative meaning. The turning point is the moment in a phenomenon where changes aggravate and intensify a dozen or so or a hundred or so times. When we talk about climate change and climate protection, we are facing such turning points. But we, as the foundation, decided to support the organization of Freedom Games not to scare you and not to remind you how pivotal environmental protection is and how important it is to reduce carbon dioxide and greenhouse uh, gas emissions. We decided because fighting climate change is a technological, economic, political, social, ethical challenge and the challenge of how to bring up future generations. I'm very happy and proud that during the next two and a half days, in addition to the topics related to politics, you will also hear about how the physically well-defined phenomena affect your everyday life and what we all can do to limit, slow down, but unfortunately not stop the climate change. I wish you fruitful discussions and lots of optimistic reflections. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Lars Andre Richter, the FNF Foundation for Freedom uh, representative of uh, the designated project director of the Central Europe and the Baltic States. Dear friends of uh, Liberty, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to speak here. It's a great pleasure and honor to be with you tonight. For me, it's the first uh, Freedom Games, first participation. Uh, congratulations on that occasion to the organizers. I mean, it's a special year, special anniversary. anniversary. Tenth years is a great issue to, uh, yeah, to celebrate that. I think Nauman Foundation is uh, very well known. We have been working for about 60 years now worldwide to foster democracy and its values and principles all over the world. I think we have currently 40, about 40 uh, offices abroad uh, with activities in I think between 70 and 80 countries, so it's a quite, uh, quite successful story. Uh, I had the great honor to uh, work for Nauman Foundation in uh, five years, past five years, in Latin America and Buenos Aires, uh, in uh, Argentina, Paraguay, Uruguay and Brazil. And before that, I worked six years in East Asia, South Korea, and in was in charge of North Korea. I think that is a quite good preparation. Uh, North Korea, so uh, it's uh, as a kind of, um, as a very brutal dictatorship, uh, and uh, so the neighborhood to China is an authoritarian regime. So plus Latin America, I experienced then uh, various uh, forms of populism, and I think that is a quite that is an issue here in uh, in, uh, in Europe t uh, as well. So I came back after a little bit more than ten, more more or less eleven years to my home continent, and the situation is completely different here. I mean, we have a war here. Uh, but again, I mean, that is a very, very, uh, very, very big drama, very big uh, catastrophe. Uh, and it's part of a very, very big philosophical, con of a very, very um, philosophical conflict between authoritarian and populist regimes on the, other, on the one hand and democracy-free uh, societies on the other hand. And I would say let's keep optimistic. I think we, the liberals, uh, the freedom fighters, we have the better ideas, uh, the better philosophy, uh, the better concepts, so I think the future is ours. Thank you very much for your attention, and I'm looking forward to meeting you in the upcoming two weeks. Thank you. Thank you very much, and now we'd like to give the floor to Patrick Etting, 
Rising Tide Foundation. It's a pleasure to be here again. This is my second Freedom Games, and I want to thank the Liberté team um, for putting this on and the amazing work you've done in advance. Um, I, I'm here representing the Rising Tide Foundation, which is a Swiss-based philanthropic foundation, and we believe that the market economy, in concert with limited government and rule of law, holds the greatest promise for freedom and prosperity for all. Freedom, in our view, is the most explanatory factor driving and shaping human well-being around the world. And we believe that prosperity occurs when society respects the dignity of each person and his or her right to act as a moral agent. And we take a human-centric approach to our philanthropy um, as we believe that within each human person there's an inexhaustible well of creativity and innovation that is waiting to be unleashed. And through our portfolio of more than 150 projects over the past 12 years that we funded around the globe, we seek to unleash this potential within the human person through our focus areas of private sector solutions, system change, empowerment of individuals, and teaching freedom. So if you're working in, in any of these areas, I'd love to talk to you at, at some point throughout these three days. So that brings me to today. I'm thrilled to be here uh, on behalf of the Rising Tide Foundation. And as a foundation, we're really thrilled to partner with this one-of-a-kind event in Europe that's placing classical liberal principles in practice through open dialogue, discussion, and debate toward the end of preserving, uh, preserving and enhancing the liberal, uh, liberal institutions that have made it possible for widespread economic growth, prosperity, and freedom um, for, for uh, many of us in this room. And uh, the prompt uh, that's in, this, uh, in your booklet tonight, the first sentence, it says, uh, it says the future is not determined, and, and that is true, because it's shaped and molded by communities and individuals who are free to choose their own objective in the next stage of the story. And it is essential that we preserve this freedom amidst challenging circumstances. And I'm looking forward to exploring how we can best do this together over the next three days. Uh, thank you again. I look forward to talking with you more. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to give the floor to Martin Olander, uh, manager uh, for public policy for CE, uh, for CE at Google YouTube. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to welcome you during the 10th anniversary Freedom Games. Google has again been the proud sponsor of this event through the exchange of opinions on the key topics related to our world. We promote the concept of Freedom and democracy. Freedom is among the pivotal values we have. This is indispensable for development and progress of the humankind. This is the opportunity for every individual to pursue their route and to unleash their potential. Freedom is the essential value for our company. We believe that access to information, free exchange of opinions and expressing one's opinions are indispensable for future development of democracies and societies. Freedom is not given once and for all. We need to nurture it and fight for it. Previous years have been a challenging time for uh, freedom. COVID-19 pandemic, brutal aggression of Russia on Ukraine, economic crisis caused by the aggression. These are only some of the challenges that we are facing nowadays. In the face of the challenges, I do believe that sticking to the concept of freedom is even more important. We need to collaborate to build a world in which every individual can enjoy the freedom and use it in the same manner as others do. That's why we consider such events as Freedom Games important, the forum for exchanging ideas and discussing the most important um, 
challenges for the society in the 21st century. This is the place where we can deliberate on how to protect and promote the concept of liberty. This year, the Freedom Games, the Freedom Games title is the turning point. This is a valid statement. At this point of time, we are going to face a number of challenges. So it means a real turning point. We've got a war, climate change, and economic crisis. These challenges pose a hazard to freedom, to safety, security, and prosperity. A tremendous opportunity lies in tech development, AI. I am fully convinced that yet again the Freedom Games will be a great opportunity for open positive discussion on such topics, namely how to face the challenges and at the same time preserve the basic value of freedom. I wish you fruitful discussions, lots of inspiring meetings. See you during the next two days. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now I'd like to give the floor to Konrad Cieszowkiewicz, Scientific Council of the Children's Rights of Janusz Korczak Institute, member, head of Orange Foundation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On the Inter International Day of Democracy, uh, according to uh, UN's decision, on behalf of the Orange Foundation and the Children's Rights of Janusz Korczak Institute, when we talk about children's rights, I would like to point out one aspect. You enumerate a number of democracy meters. Our approach, the approach of companies and institutions to the most vulnerable ones is matter. By definition, children are a group of vulnerable individuals. I would like to thank Boazhe Leszek and the whole Liberty team organizers of the Freedom Games for accepting such topics. This is not the first time uh, such topics have been mentioned during the Freedom Games. We are going to discuss them today and tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to seeing you, ladies and gentlemen, during our debates. We'll discuss the topics that we tend to avoid every day, namely that there is a relationship between the natural trend to dominate over another person at home, at school, in personal relations and the fact that the recent research revealed that 30% of people with secondary and tertiary education present authoritarian stance and they're fully convinced that authoritarian stance is right. Owing to uh, Liberté and the organizers of the Freedom Games, we are going to discuss the subject matter. I would like to thank you for it and uh, see you during our debate uh, tomorrow. It's product placement. See you tomorrow at 11.30. However, there are lots of uh, points on the agenda devoted to children and the youth. We know that nowadays they are not only underappreciated, but also we have seen a kind of recourse in the approach to their rights and subjectivity. These are the topics we are going to discuss during the next two days. Thank you very much. I would like to wish you fruitful discussions. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Eva Batura, Employability Project Leader at IKEA Retail in Poland. Good afternoon. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you on behalf of IKEA. As IKEA, we are very happy that again we can be a partner to such great uh, event as the Freedom Games are. It's great to meet with people and talk with people to whom another, pers another person is important, talking about uh, different perspectives and exchange of our idea generates uh, a value that is very important to IKEA. This year's topic 
of the games, that is the turning point to IKEA, is very important. I think that uh, both we as the organization as uh, uh, and uh, to each one of us it's very important be because we have witnessed many different turning points in the previous years. I hope that the discussions uh, which will be participated by our um, re uh, representatives will be inspiring to you. And now I would like to invite you to two discussion panels held tomorrow. IKEA will take part in the panels. The first panel will start at 11.15 in the planetarium room and we'll be talking about responsible business and unexpected crisis, crises. Uh, after um, the panel at 12.30 in basement ring area, there will be a discussion panel during which we will be considering the following topic, uh, refugees and business challenges, opportunities, new perspectives. At uh, minus two level, next to planetarium, we have prepared an IKEA zone for you. We have arranged it, arranged it to uh, stimulate inspiring discussions. We also um, added uh, some more inspirations from IKEA because in that place you will be able to see a documentary uh, that will show you the, um, uh, the the placement program about skills. So you will hear um, contributions of the refugees that took part in this placement uh, scheme. So in five uh, IKEA stores in Poland, we we delivered the program. We have also prepared fragments of the publication that will be published in October. It's named the uh, inspiring book and it will be a collection of inspirations and uh, good and interesting uh, experience, practice, how to prepare organization to uh, employ refugees. We hope that the inspiring book will be the turning point uh, to, to build excluding and friendly jobs. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a successful uh, participation in the games and have fruitful uh, discussions. Thank you. And Tom G. Palmer, uh, Executive Vice President for International Programs at Atlas Network and a Senior Fellow at the Cato uh, Institute. Is a well known slogan of the Polish nation. Poles have for centuries fought for your liberty and for the liberty of others. Tadeusz Kosciuszko dedicated his life, his honor, and his fortune to liberty in Europe and in America, including for the enslaved black Americans with whom he strongly identified. Poles today must again fight for your liberty. And you are not alone. You have sincere friends all around the world. Atlas Network, with which I work, is proud and pleased to be able to co-sponsor and support this event. Our network comprises 539 organizations in 102 countries. And just as all of them stand with Ukrainians today and their struggle against a totalitarian power. We stand with Poles who are fighting authoritarianism, cronyism, nepotism, and who seek, and, and against those who seek unlimited power. Now is the time for Polish patriots to fight for Polish liberty, for the rule of law rather than the weaponization of law for equal justice for all, rather than cronyism and nepotism, for an open and democratic society against the accumulation of power after power after power. Liberty is in the soul of the Polish nation. And the soil of this region, which has known so much tyranny, has been fertilized by the blood of many martyrs and heroes of liberty and they call out to us today. I was recently in Ukraine to help Ukrainians in Kramatorsk and Kharkiv and Kherson in their fight for freedom against a totalitarian evil. If Ukraine falls to Mordor, to the evil empire, 
All of us are under threat. But for the same reasons, Poland must stand as a stronghold of liberty for the Poles, for the Ukrainians, for Europe, and for all of us. My friends, you are not alone in your fight for your liberty and ours. Ladies and gentlemen, when we're talking about the strategic financial content medium uh, support, our partners uh, are our pride and our treasure. So we are very grateful and we welcome them today. And let's uh, say thank you to them by giving them a round of applause. Like this. It may be a burden, but it is a responsibility that we embrace nonetheless. But if it means this for one person and this for someone else, maybe it ultimately means being there for one another. It isn't handed to us, but we know where to find it and how it feels, how it tastes what it sounds like when we finally have it. It means different things to different people, but for many, it means everything. And if we all fight for it, it will eventually bring us together. Zawodu lekarzem, zajmowała się diagnostyką chorób nowotworowych. W Białorusi zajmowałam się mikrobiologią i molekularną biologią. Byłem nauczycielem szkoły podstawowej. Naszym celem jest budowanie umiejętności, które są ważne na polskim rynku pracy. Szybko nabierają takiej pewności siebie, bardzo szybko się uczą. Wszystko możliwe, kiedy starasz się. Każdy wybór ma swoje konsekwencje. Dziś na kazaniu o takich jak ty mówili, że to morderczynie. A wiesz, że ta, która ci pomogła trafi za kraty? Trzeba mieć sumienie. Jak mogłaś to zrobić własnej matce? Aborcja to najgorsza zbrodnia. Gdybym ja podjęła taką decyzję, nie byłoby cię tutaj. Organy państwa nie będą przyglądać się temu obojętnie. Życie i zdrowie kobiety jest najważniejsze. 
Stop kryminalizacji aborcji. Kobieta decyduje. Dzień dobry. Dobry. A mogę drugą? Dla szwagra. Dla szwagra. A, dla szwagra. Serio? Dla szwagra. Nadchodzące wybory są zbyt ważne, by zostawić się bez kontroli. Dołącz do obywatelskiej kontroli wyborów. Zróbmy wybory bez picu. 